All right, I uh, I manifested that I would make one hundred thousand dollars in two thousand seven last week, and then four days after I said that, after I initially manifested it, I found out that my Long John Silver commercial has been running for about a month. Now I see that my words have created that, and there's always like a backstory when you find out you say something's going to happen, it happens, and there's always like a backstory to what happened, and other people can verify it that are involved with it. But it wouldn't have happened if I hadn't said that it would happen, I believe. I'm not saying that it wouldn't have, but saying that it was going to happen is what made it happen. And, of course, now there's a backstory, and it's running like crazy. It's all over the place. It just happened. The $100,000 is very real. I say it's going to happen, and so it will happen. And then I get a call yesterday, or I get a contact from my friend Vanessa, who got me this audition for the lead in a pilot uh, a, a new pilot that's coming out, their lead, like, went to another show, and uh, Grey's Anatomy, and so they need someone to read for this lead, and they saw my pictures, and they want to read me for it, they're really excited, she said they were really excited about it, and so I'll book this, it's, uh, I'm not trying to manipulate people, but I see this as part of the, of course, it's going to be in the entertainment industry, is where I'm going to make my money, that's you know, I'm in L.A., I'm SAG, I'm ready to do it. I, I will do it. I don't have any problems with it. There's a balance, you know. You can't be crazy. You can't be honest all the time with everyone in that you can't always say what you think. Sometimes you have to listen and understand. In fact, a good portion of the time you have to listen and understand. And there's a balance, and it can work, and it will. Um, I have a plan, and I want to share it with you. I think that, oh, fuck. I, uh, sorry, I'm a little distracted. I want to I explain, I'm not distracted anymore. I want to explain my plan, as far as I know. Um, I think that Obama's going to get elected. I think Obama's, Barack Obama's going to respond uh, over the Internet to the common man and it'll be revolutionary, and it'll it'll revolutionize the way politics functions. Already, like, the Bush administration is falling apart. It's just archaic, the way people have, like, secrets, and they're, like, this want to hide things from the other countries so they don't find out. It's so, uh, mid, uh, like, medieval times. It's so Middle Ages. It's so Dark Ages. We're not, like, warring kingdoms that are trying to outplot and take and... and build up our defenses so we don't get conquered by the other. Like, that is so far in the past. People are more connected now. People are not just amassing in a large group of farmers and doing what the monarch says. That is so so long ago. Now, good God, we have this technology and we are pow the powerful ones. We all are. Look at me. I'm a guy from Ohio with not growing up with a lot of money, hardly any. I mean, my parents were able to help me out with some, but I took out massive amount of loans to go, but I've been proactive in my life. I've traveled the country. I lived in New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles. I went to college. I have been doing like theater, film. Just I'm proactive. And I got myself a webcam. And look what I've fucking accomplished on YouTube. Look what all these people are accomplishing on YouTube. Just people. Just regular people. Like average people in their 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s. There's no limit. And, and teens. It's... My plan is to see Barack. My plan is that Barack, when he responds on video to the common man, it will revolutionize politics. And the United States will get its act together. Finally, for the first time in the last 50 years, it will stop being so afraid of getting attacked. Ever since World War II, the US, ever since World War I, the U.S. has been just terrified of getting attacked, it seems like. Isolationist, Cold War, Vietnam, Korea. What are we so afraid of? Nothing is going to happen to us. If that's not true, everything will happen to us. But when it does, that's fine. We accept it and still continue to make the world a better place. We're not When we get smacked in the face by someone, we're not going to turn around and smack them back and kick them and beat them and go to war with them. We're going to get smacked and we're going to understand why we got smacked. Because they were angry. Because they have issues that they've dealt with. Because they've never been treated with kindness. But now they will be treated with kindness and they won't smack again. And that is the evolution of humanity. And when the president is aware of this, 
and talking about this, we move on to the next step, which is getting the internet hooked up to places. Of course, getting people food, but getting internet to the places where they have food and don't have internet, where they are in a position to be upgraded, and they will be upgraded to the internet. People in other countries, it, webcams will be put into school systems, will be put into kindergarten classrooms so that the kindergartners can communicate with other kindergartners from other countries like China and Japan and Korea and uh, Australia and Germany and Russia and Iraq and England. And the list goes on. The list is never ending because these countries are just different labels to explain the same thing, which is people. The kids are going to communicate with other kids. They're going to understand each other because of this technology. Because, no, because that's what they're built to do is understand each other, but this technology is going to make it easier. It is making it easier. It's already making it easier, and it just keeps getting easier. Webcams will also be put into homeless shelters, and the homeless will no longer be dejected and tossed aside onto the side of the road. They will be treated like first-class citizens, because that's what they are. The homeless people are first-class citizens. They are we. There is no difference. The only, thing, the only difference is a financial difference, and I don't think of anyone with more or less money than me than different than me. We are all the same. We are all one carbon footprint or a carbon experience, and there is no difference. Only superficial differences, like the difference between this paper and this cell phone. Of course, there is a difference, but there is no difference. It's all energy. It's all particles that we create with our minds. Everyone is the same. And when this becomes more apparent, this is becoming more apparent. And after the homeless shelters then get internet, and the schooling systems have internet, and people are communicating, then the language starts to become one. And English becomes, I think that English, we will learn, our, our kindergartners will learn another language from the other person, from the Japanese kid. The English kid will learn Japanese, the Japanese kid will learn English. It will be a friendship, a real friendship. The language barrier is an illusion. And so we learn one language. And with this one language, the conflict ceases. There's no more war. People understand each other. We're able to communicate. We're able to focus on the same thing. When all the governments, can you imagine, when all the governments are spending money on the same thing, what we can accomplish, the potential of the human race, what we can accomplish when we work together, and so we will work together. It's happening now. It's already happening. It's always happening. And we're going to spend our money on the space program. And the human race is going to focus on a way to get people off of the planet and populate our surroundings. We're not stuck. We're not leaving because we're afraid of each other. We're not racing to get off the planet. There is no space race. We are communicating and creating a way to experience the universe. And when we do that, we will reach another planet. There will be no conflict. And we'll figure it out from there. Or will exist in the spaceship. In, in space, it doesn't matter. It's the exploration that's important. It's the understanding that we're not afraid. That is an illusion. That is what our parents told us. Because that's what they were told by their parents. And all these people that have had these enlightened thoughts have kept it to themselves because they were afraid to express it. But I'm not afraid. No one is afraid. That is an illusion. We are communicating now. No, I'm not on any drugs. I'm just a person. <laughs>